Two murder scenes just a few miles apart in rural Cambridgeshire. A father and son shot dead within minutes of each other. The first shooting took place yesterday evening in Bluntersham. The police found the body of 32-year-old Josh Dunmore in a house just after nine o'clock. People in the village say there was a major police operation here last night. A helicopter hovered overhead for some time while the area was cordoned off and people were told on social media to stay indoors. Bit of a shock and a surprise. Nothing has happened like this has happened before. Friends of Josh Dunmore visited the scene today to leave flowers and personal tributes. They knew him from a local boxing club where they said he was always smiling. It's, it's, it's a shock to everyone. Just such a nice guy. Couldn't have been a nicer guy. Just over 30 minutes after the first shooting, the police were called to another house in the nearby village of Sutton. They found the body of 57-year-old Gary Dunmore, the father of the first victim. I understand that there's been a lot of local speculation about a child custody battle, um, and I can confirm that is one line of inquiry that we were pursuing. Once we've identified what the motive is, it makes it much clearer for us who may be responsible and why they've done it. And we have detectives working around the clock to make sure we get justice for our victims. Police say a white Peugeot they believe was used in the attack has been recovered nearby. Another car was stopped by West Mercia police near Worcester and a man arrested. I can confirm that an armed intervention took place on the motorway in Worcestershire. During that, a 66-year-old man was arrested um, and he was taken to a police station in Worcester. I can also confirm that following that arrest, a firearm has been recovered. That man will, is currently being transported back to Cambridgeshire where he will be interviewed by detectives later on today. Another man and woman were arrested in a hotel on the outskirts of Cambridge earlier today. All three are being held on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. The police have reassured people in the area that they believe these were targeted shootings and they're not looking for anyone else in connection with the attacks.